used in Colorado. Our contact number seven inbox is just filled with used car horror stories and people who thought they were buying a reliable ride just to be left stranded. And I have been digging into this problem and I found Colorado's protections when you're buying a used car do not stack up to other states and consumers like you are paying the price. Buying a used car in Colorado? I'm so frustrated. Comes with some risk. It's kind of like a game. A good deal? There's two sides to every story. Gone bad. Do you want this car back? No. Mm -mm. The Contact Timber 7 found other states are doing more to keep used car buyers from being used. So far, so good. Daphne Adams would do anything for her daughter. Last October, documents show she helped her buy this 2014 Kia Sportage at Davidson Motors on East Colfax. When they pulled the car out, it kind of sputtered. And they said, well, we'll fix that and we'll go over that and we'll get that running for you. Trusting Davidson's to make the repairs, Daphne signed the deal with an extended warranty. They told you they could fix the car. They said it was a timing belt. But Davidson's tells us they couldn't fix the car, eventually paying Arapahoe Kia for repairs. It was in the shop for a month. A week later, back in the shop for another month. A month later, back in the shop again. That's when mechanics found these wires they say had been chewed through, then taped over. Repairing it would have cost thousands. That's when it came in the blame game. So Davidson was blaming Arapahoe Kia and saying that they did, they should have seen it the first time. Then he said, well, I'll get back with you. I'll call you back. He never called back. Used car nightmares. He threatened to ruin my credit if I don't keep the car. Or one of the top complaints. The car never started again. To contact Denver 7. Yeah, it's important to do stories like this. And to consumer protection attorney Matt Osborne, who says Colorado's laws fall short. Why do you think Colorado's law isn't strong enough? Number one, there should be a requirement that dealerships inspect their cars before they're allowed to sell them. He says too often problem cars are sold at dealer only auctions where dealers are bidding on hundreds of cars a day, putting them straight on their lots. These cars that are damaged, they get passed around like a hot potato. And then eventually it gets sold to a consumer and the dealership just says, well, we didn't know, try to prove otherwise. Taking a dealership to court, hiring an attorney is cost prohibitive. You've probably heard of the so-called lemon law for defective cars, but it only applies to new cars. Cars. For used cars? I'm afraid that there's not enough recourse. State Representative Mike Wiseman says the Colorado Consumer Protection Act punishes deceptive business practices by covering attorney fees and awarding triple damages. Yet Colorado is one of only 10 states in the nation with a legal loophole that requires consumers to first prove the public has been harmed. One person isn't enough. It really defeats the purpose of that law to have to have lots of people already hurt by exactly the same problem that the law is trying to solve. However, Weissman's proposal to change the law was once again struck down this session amid pressure from lobbyists. We are a pretty consumer friendly state. David Cardella, CEO of the Colorado Independent Automobile Dealers Association says a dealer board already oversees the industry and dealers are required to disclose damage. Is that actually done? You know, you would like to think so. Uh, you would like to think people are following the law. I, are they doing it every time? I, I can't, I couldn't answer that for you. He says requiring inspections would raise costs for consumers. And as far as changing the Consumer Protection Act. Is it just a way for attorneys to make some money? Or is it actually getting, seeking uh, uh, restitution for a consumer? Don't buy it. Daphne, don't buy it. When Davidson's Motors refused to pay for the last repair bill, she couldn't either, and the car was declared abandoned. She reached out to contact Denver 7 for help. In a statement, Davidson's Motors shifted gears, saying in part, thousands of dollars were spent at the Kia dealership to repair all of the mechanical issues that we approved. And although we were not obligated, we refunded her full deposit to compensate her for any type of inconvenience. After months of fighting, Daphne says it's a small victory in a larger battle for consumer protections in Colorado. Only reason why they're doing it now because I involve Town 7. Otherwise, they would have done anything. The lawmakers should look into it and find out what they can do and what will benefit the consumer because we're the ones paying for it.
Now, everyone we talk to says getting an inspection of your car before you buy it is the best way to protect yourself. But you do have some recourse if you buy a used lemon. Arbitration is often mandated in those contracts, but small claims court may also be a possibility. You can also file a complaint with the state's auto industry division and with the attorney general's office. You may be able as well to rescind or cancel a contract. So we are going in depth with more tips on fighting back on Denver7.com.